had pay negotiations seven years ago to get above the minimum wage, campaign for the living wage at the time, achieved an agreement to get above the poverty line, but not the living wage, so now we're back for having finished negotiations after they refused to negotiate anymore and trying to get a living wage. Employers of the Ritzy uh, Picture House Cinemas. Picture House were recently sold to City World, but they kept as a separate entity within City World. But our direct dispute is with Picture House. We started negotiations about seven months ago. They failed to address the London living wage in any negotiations. We have been to ACAS twice. Um, they've made various offers, but none of them address the London living wage. One of the arguments that they've made is that, well, a lot of people are part-time, so why should we pay a living wage? And it's kind of like, what? How does, that, how does that make any sense? Because, you know, irrespective, it's about your time. It's not a question of how often you're there. And what do other businesses that you work for then have to subsidise their business because they're paying so low? That doesn't make sense either. People genuinely, genuinely find it shocking that a company that holds Human Rights Film Festival gives you know, money to charity. In every other element of their business, you know, they support local and independent people. Um, and they don't want to extend that to us, and we've, we're not standing for it. They went up on the reader graph and then put this nice message up there saying that they're shut. They are trying to get the members of the public that aren't sure about whether striking is a good move on side on the basis that if they claim they're closed, it's like the cinema's at risk of closing down. But the Ritzy's the most successful art house cinema in the country, it is not going to close. That might well have been their tactic, but if it is, then it, it simply hasn't worked. I mean, the absolutely phenomenal response we've had from the local community here all day, and by social media and elsewhere, uh, is a real testament to the fact that the entire local community, including all of their customers, support us. It's to pay people back for not coming in today. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. campaign at the University of London. Um, we're in touch with them. We've also been working very closely with our fellow Bec2 members um, at the Curzon, who've recently achieved, recently achieved union recognition after quite a long campaign and are now campaigning for the living wage as well. Um, there's then also uh, uh, people at the Everyman chain of cinemas who are trying to unionise at the moment. Uh, BFI IMAX recently won their campaign for the living wage. Um, so there's a, a definite movement really starting to build in, in cinema and I think we would like to see that continue. You talk to all our members and that, they're very excited about that prospect and they're also excited about, um, you know, so many other retail and low paid hospitality workers and that, uh, seeing it as an inspiration too. We also want this to sort of, you know, to have a positive effect on Clapham, you know, Hackney, uh, Greenwich and uh, Notting Hill, you know, like we know a lot of those people who work at those cinemas and, you know, they're being told that they're not allowed to join the union, but they can, you know, they just have to self-organise. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want?